This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my viewers and subscribers? What's up? What's up? A blessed day to you all my peeps. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. All right, my sports to the bone family. So we have a couple of things to take a look at in this one. Test cricket, lovely test cricket. David Warner, David Warner. The man was roughed up by uh, Rabada in that test match between South Africa and Australia. Going to carry you through it so far and we see England and Pakistan locked in battle. Also, we're going to talk about that and a few other things. Just make sure as per usual, you will listen to the video until the end. And if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe just go right ahead and subscribe man turn on the post notification bell leave a like and make sure you drop a comment all right so um so australia just demolished west indies my viewers and subscribers in that test series there well the second uh, game especially now they are going up against south africa and i must tell you that south africa um the south african batsmen they were they were actually um rooted out for 152 you know at one point in time i i, I thought they weren't going to actually get over 100 but they ended up getting 152 all out and um you know it's all courtesy of some very very good bowling my viewers and subscribers so in that 152, you know, um, we had top scoring for South Africa. We had Timba Bavuma the, uh, making 38. He got 38. Well, he didn't top score. He got 38 from uh, 70, the top scorer. We had um, Kylie, who was actually the top scorer, getting 64, the wicket keeper. He had 64 from 96. So Bavuma, he was the second best run scorer with that 38 there. So 152 all out of 48.2 overs. So they, you know, they managed to get more than the 77 that West Indies got the other day. But it's, it's shaping up to be a very, very interesting test match, my peeps. Because going in search of that 152 Australia, they have already lost five wickets and we're talking about 145 for five so let me give you the bowling figures for the australians first we have mitchell stark getting three for 41 pat cummins getting two for 35 returning from injury we have scott boland getting two for uh 28 and nathan lyon the off spinner getting three for 14 yes my peeps three for 14 is what he ended up with and um this is the first we're talking about the first test of three and um these this score that i'm giving you now is at the end of day one so australia now 145 for five david warner as i said he was he was greeted with a wicked pacey sharp delivery from rabada and he was removed without scoring off the first ball. Usman Kawaja, he made 11 of 26. Marnus Lamachain had only 11. And Steve Smith, he was bowled by Nakia for 36. Travis Head, he's still holding tight. He's on 78 from 77. Battling my viewers and subscribers. And so far, the wicket takers for South Africa. We have um, Rabada with 2 for 50. And we also have Anri Nakia with 2 for 37. And um, Marco Hansen, he has one for 15. So it's shaping up to be a very good test match, my viewers and subscribers. Pace up on top of pace. You know, I was listening an interview earlier. Well, I was reading an article today that was covering an interview that was done by Usman Kawaja. And he was saying that he backs David Warner every day of the week. He will never leave him out as it relates to him making the team. So... I tell you my peeps, if you want to see some good competitive cricket, you can definitely take a look at what is going on between these two teams right here. So, you know, good test match, my viewers and subscribers, you know. And talking about good test match, we have Pakistan. So that is what is happening in the Australia game so far. They will resume today. Today is what? Saturday at uh, 7.20 p.m. They will resume for the second day's 
play. Now, where England versus Pakistan is concerned, this is the third test match and England, they lead the series 2-0. You know, and at the end of day one, Pakistan batting first, they made 304 all out of 79 overs. England, uh, they were 7 for 1, needing 297 runs to get um, Pakistan in again. Now, scoring for Pakistan, we had uh, we had Babar Azam, the captain, falling short of a century. He was actually run out by Harry Brook. He actually made 78 of 123 with 9 fours. And we have Salman. He was he actually made 56 from uh, 93. Masood made 30. Ali Azar Ali. Azar Ali, he made 45 from 68. So those were the chief run scorer for Pakistan in that first innings and bowling for England. We have the man himself, Mr. Jack Leash, getting four for 140. And um, Rahan Ahmed, he had two for 89. You know, I think he made his debut. If I'm not mistaken, Joe Root had one and uh, Oli Pope won. Mark Wood was able to pick up one wicket also. So yes, my viewers and subscribers, um... Lovely, lovely test cricketing. I know the Big Bash League is going on and quite a few of the West Indian supporters, they are actually tuned into the Big Bash League because they want to see their um, beloved Caribbean people hitting sixes and all of that. But I can assure you, my peeps, if you want to see some quality cricket, you can turn in at 7.20 this evening. We're talking about um, 7.20 p.m. to see in Australia going up against South Africa. And, you know, the England versus Pakistan game, they will resume um, for the second day's play at 12 a.m. So, you know, basically midnight, there's um, my viewers and subscribers. So, yeah, those are the um, stories there in real, as it relates to test cricket. Now, you would have seen a picture on the thumbnail with Marnus Lamashane and Brian Charles Lara. Seems as if Marnus Lamashane, before the West, the West Indies, well, Lara is not a part of the West Indies tour. <laughs> he wasn't touring Australia. But it seems as if before they left, um, you know, before the series was actually completed, Brian Lara and Marna Slamashane had a little chat and posed for a photo. Don't know, you know, you know, Marna Slamashane, this is a man that he loves his cricket. He eats, sleep and drinks cricket. So I can only imagine that he was probably trying to bounce some ideas off the great man. You know, not only posing for a picture, but also trying to bounce some ideas off off Brian Lara, you know, to see if he can improve his game, any little advice or thing like that. So, yeah, that is what is happening, my peeps. We are enjoying Test Cricket, lovely Test Cricket. Uh, now, West Indies, you know, we're not playing until January, but um, some good cricket being played. So, it's all about, you know, us just sitting down and watching and all of that. And tomorrow, we will have the Football World Cup final. Argentina going up against France and just as a reminder my peeps we are going to be live Sunday you know we do our live show every Sunday at 6 p.m. so just make sure you come out and come have a chat with us sports to the board keeping you informed big up on yourself my peeps and we will touch base again I'm out